See how the babies are doing today? The Woody's need some food. Yep, they definitely need food. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna change your water in a minute. They all seem to be doing good. They're like, I don't know, three weeks old, roughly. So we're doing good with the woodies this year. That's our first hatch we had a few weeks ago. And on this side here, I have cinnamons. And normally there's no blankets here, but we had a cold snap last night. And these birds are two weeks old and it was like in the 20s. And even though there's a heat light, I wanted to keep a lot of the cold air out of the pen. So I figured these heat, these blankets would hold the heat in good. We don't usually have that kind of cold this time of year. How are we doing? And they're all doing just fine and dandy. I gotta clean it up in here today. Pull that, this mat, I just take out, hose it off. This here, everything when I do the water change. For the moment, I'll throw some food in there. I'll come back to it in 10 minutes when I'm done with this. I know, I'll bet you're hungry. Maybe this weekend I'll try giving them some open water like the other side. They are a couple weeks old. But unless it's warm out, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I figured those blankets would hold the heat a lot better and I'm sure they did. So let's go over here, see what he's doing over here. Pool changing day for the main pen. <clears throat> There's Pacer just sitting there. Yeah, he's uh, going through a molt. He's acting a little weird the past few weeks. I don't know what it is. But he's already starting to lose his head colors. That male green wing. Just a little early for him to start losing color. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else is going on in there. <clears throat> I still got more grasses I got to plant. And that's not good. So we got two eggs laying here in the aviary. I don't know what these are from. And that one's busted. This one's not. Let's see. Is there Woody in here? There's only six, so she threw a couple eggs out. I'll put it back, just in case. Then again, it could be a bad egg and she knows it. Let's see what we're going on here. <clears throat> It's a 
cinnamon. And it's a... Uh, Unless I put them in the wrong box. I moved some eggs around the other day. No, those are just woodies. So I did put a couple of cinnamon eggs in that box yesterday. Or a few days ago, actually. They were in the other pen just laying around. So I just put them under her. Yeah, you can see how much more prime the other green wing is. Here. It's got way better colors. <clears throat> so Monday, the state was here. We blood tested all the birds. <clears throat> well, that's a little bit of a pain having to catch all the birds. That's why you'll see they all have bands on them now. On their leg. Sticking past like you can probably see on the hooded right there. Or you see the little band sticking backwards. I don't think there's anything else happening in the nest boxes in here. I haven't noticed anybody really looking like they're getting ready. Ring teal's got a little bit of eggs in there. I can see that, but... Yeah, let's go see the ruddy pen. Here's the mess from the cleanup yesterday. This was the pen that was a really pain to catch them in because there's nowhere to run around chasing them either. So I had to drain the pool. And it's slippery in the bottom, I'll tell you that. Buffles are way more happy in here. So this water's been in here a couple days. Filter's only been running a day because I worked on it all day yesterday. So you can see it's clear, but it's starting to cloud up a little. Because it didn't have a filter for a day. Almost, yeah, a little over a day and a half. But once I filter it for a couple, three days, it'll clear up. But now, we're slowly getting better with the filter setup. Looks a lot cleaner over here now. I don't have those containers laying there. So those containers were covering up my power supply that runs the filter. So I didn't pay attention to my filter when I bought it. There's a European plug, so it's European power. <clears throat> I bought it because it was efficient. It has a remote with 10 different settings. So it runs like 65 watts at 10,000 gallons an hour. I pretty much have it on setting two or three, depending. So I'm hardly using any power. But I had to buy a transformer converter thing for it. So we did some filter upgrades. I now have a different clean out here. So much easier to use those valves than a ball valve. 
Ball valves on plumbing are great. On PVC this size, they suck. They're way too hard. I did recently put a check valve in here, so when I'm draining it, the pump's not dry. I just added this valve so I can overflow the number one barrel and eject all the crap out here just by turning the valve here and I can dump out this way. <clears throat> just put a hose on it. And didn't really do anything to this filter. But I also took, made this little box. Real quick, it's pretty hollow on the bottom, just got a couple pieces of wood. This houses the receiver for the remote for the pump. It also has the pump in there. I mean the uh, transformer for the pump. And it has the air pump for the aerators. And like I said, the whole bottom is pretty much open. Kinda, there's a lot of opening. Nothing you can see in there. It's got the three-way power hookup to run both things. So it's all nice and organized now. I'm not tripping over it and having crap all over the ground. <clears throat> Here's the other nest box I built last week. I put a little smaller hole in it because it's going to be just for the buffle head. I didn't get crazy with the camera yet. I just threw it in there just to see if she goes in it. Yeah, that's the remote for the pump. I'm going to put it in the, in the other box, but didn't get to it yet. So she did go in it last night. That's just good about having the camera. So she did check out the box. So hopefully she'll start feeling more comfortable when I'm actually nest in here. See. Yeah, there was a cinnamon nest there that I took an egg out of. <clears throat> and there was one here a couple last week, whatever. There was a couple in it. It was the same bird. She moved spots. So it was about a week. I pulled those eggs and put them in the other cinnamon box. Getting a bunch of weeds growing up in here now. Did he scare you? I do got to do a little digging in the near future rearrange the liner a little bit start getting the lower drain and the skimmer into the liner I think that's about it for now. Get these guys fed and get things going for the day.